Hello there everybody and welcome to Orwell. Orwell is a privacy thriller game. Uh, its name comes from the, the uh, book called 1984 by uh, George Orwell and it's all about the Big Brother system. I'm very curious what it will bring to the table. Let's start with an empty profile. Congratulations, you have been selected for the Orwell test phase. Please create a profile. Uh, well, we are Grulian. Oh, I have to pick a profile picture, right. Mm. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh, let's just... Let's be an old man. Bitter. Be diligent, your work has severe impact. Please agree to the following terms. I am aware that my actions may severely impact the lives of citizens of the nation. I will work thoroughly and judge objectively in the best of my belief. While working, I will adhere to the laws and jurisdictions of the nations. Of the nation. <clears throat> Alright. Thank you for ensuring the safety of the nation's people. Your registration is now complete. Please wait. Logging in. I don't believe it's actually online. Oh, wow. Right. Okay. No record. Police record. What did you do? For a moment there, I thought I had to click the uplink button. <laughs> but it's just a movie, thankfully. Alright. Next one. So far, so Whoa! Holy shit! Wow! What the hell just happened? Did they like, blow up the statue? What the? So this is where I come in, I guess. Episode one: The clocks were striking thirteen. Wow! You're online. Good. Symes, all right. Uh, call me Symes. I will be your advisor on Orwell. Together we will form both the first and the last line of defense against terrorism. For this test phase, you are one of the first people to try out the Orwell system under real circumstances. Select f selected from thousands of applicants from across the globe. Normally, congratulations would be in order, but as you can see from that footage, there has been an incident. So let's get started. I've activated the reader tool for you. Its purpose is storing bookmarks to online websites and documents for easy access and to highlight when there is new information to be investigated. First, I want you to be informed of the situation. Our leading newspaper, The National Beholder, will bring you up to speed. All right. The National Beholder, Fi fast, precise, honest. Feel free to browse the National Beholder. I've activated the profiler. Open the unknown person file once you're done. Uh, bomb, obliter oblit bomb obliterates Freedom Memorial and kills three. Bonton. Explosion destroys the Freedom Memorial in Bonton. Three people are killed, five severely injured. Authorities receive strange letter. At 7.50 Wednesday evening, an explosive device detonated at the Freedom Plaza in Bonton. According to the official police reports, three people were killed and at least five bystanders were severely wounded. The Freedom Memorial was nearly completely destroyed. Police forces closed off the area immediately. Ex experts believe the attack was an act of terror, with police confirming that the explosive device was homemade and triggered from a short distance away using a cell phone signal. 
Police reports also confirmed that several hours earlier, an anonymous letter containing the first three st stanzas of the German folk song Die Gedanken sind frei, the thoughts are free, had reached local authorities. Prime Minister Blaine immediately issued a public press statement firmly condemning the assault and put the nation on high alert until the perpetrators have been brought to justice. Huh. That's not a half bad article. Okay, so the ads don't work. That's a first. I don't have an actual address bar, which is weird. Uh, how do I get back in? Oh, it just headlines. Sure. Uh, negotiations in Triflith tri field. Uh, the Pargesian president's uh, president of board's negotiations, negotiations with opposition, violent riots in Trifield. Uh, Blaine encourages renewal. A hundred gray shadows. Fifty shades of gray. Sure, whatever. Uh, yeah, let's go with the unknown person now. The profiler holds all known information on those we investigate. The file you have opened is, our, is for our main suspect. Okay. The blue-haired woman from the CCTV footage shows before the assault is no shows before the assault is no stranger to the police. Take a look at the arrest record. Um. Uh. Sure. Let's. How do I... Oh, that's where it... Oh, it's in bookmarks. Sure, whatever. Ah, there we go. The highlighted elements in the records are pieces of data that are able, that are able to ex be extracted. We will call these elements data chunks. Hovering over data chunks will reveal their relevance to the case and any connections or information it may influence. I drag and drop all data chunks from the police database into a profile to upload them to our servers. Alright, let's see, so we've got a face. Um So, okay, we've got that. That should give us all the things we need. Very good. Pictures and names are crucial information for Orwell to identify a person. Information in documents can only become a data chunk when it can be clearly assigned uh, to a target purpose. Alright. At the reason. Add the reason for Miss Watergate's prior arrest that has just been unlocked. We will need this inf info to progress. Alright. Good. With the data you extracted from the police record, a new document can now be accessed. Now let me ask you, do you believe in coincidence? I do not. Finding data revealing where she attacked the police officer... Uh, find data revealing where she attacked the police officer and you will see what I mean. Uh, okay. Previously arrested for assault on police officer. Uh, suspect had was arrested on site after officer Franklin had been struck by an unknown object and became unresponsive. The protesters at the origin of the assault were forcibly removed, where the suspect was found kneeling and weeping on the ground. When asked to lay down on the ground with her hands behind her back, the suspect cooperated immediately. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, is this woman a terrorist? Woman allegedly injured uh, a police officer two weeks ago remains in custody. Trial scheduled for August. Cassandra W. Simple protester or anti-governmental terrorist. 
the case that keeps media and the public guessing. Cassandra W. pictured above, who had allegedly injured a police officer several severely two weeks ago, is still being held in police custody. The young woman is accused of having hit the victim's head with a large brick. The incident occurred during a rampage at the Freedom Plaza as part of a demonstration against the newest amendment to the government's model project, the safety bill. The same location as the assault, then she turns up right there before an explosion. Surely not a coincidence. As you know, Miss Watergate is still running around freely. We should find out why. We should also gather more background information on her. I want to know who we're really dealing with. Alright, so... Ah! Due to the chaotic nature of the scene, police have not yet been able to connect the, cr uh, the crime to the accused. Cassandra W., who is an artist by profession, uh, has denied the accusations completely. Oh yes, one who does street art by blowing memorials to pieces by any chance. Great, you found another document. Before we go on, let's clarify the job and how it affects mine, shall we? You have extracted all the information I already knew about Miss Watergate. Starting now, I'm going into this case blind. The Orwell Ethical Codex dictates that investigators like yourself are the only ones allowed to access the documents of target persons. Advisors like me only get to see the data provided by the investigators. We will then draw conclusions and request action. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give away incorrect or misleading data. You may hit disable on a data chunk you don't want to, do not want to pass to onto our well. Uh, however, some data chunks might be necessary to progress on the case. All right. Uh, has denied the accusations completely. Has asked for fans to show their support. Trial mid, mid August. Uh, we're April. Uh, so it's upcoming, basically. The case received nationwide attention when Catherine Delacroix, uh, security, sec Secretary of Security, labeled the alleged perpetrator alongside the other rioters as anti-governmental terrorists. Does this have a year on it? 2016. So the trial's already been, so that's a good thing to know. Uh, we've got new information. Uh, new headline. Hang on. But it had a... Oh, it's simply bookmarked. Never mind. Cassandra's portfolio. Harboring outstanding art. Uh, hi, I'm Cassie. A colorful inhabitant of Wonderland right behind the, fri behind the rainbow. Glad you found me. Finally found the courage to quit my dull day job and focus on my art career and put my stuff on portfolio. Below you'll find a hand-picked selection of my latest works. You can browse them by clicking on the arrows left and right side of the picture below. See something you like? Of, uh, why of course you do, because it's freaking awesome. Is Oh, uh, damn it. Uh, leave a message on my Utel account, uh, the Cassie 92 That's a quote, I'd like to keep that. I'm gonna make a fine art print and ship it right away to your doorstep. Best thing, free of charge. Now off you go and have fun. Good, you found a chat handle. This will allow us to overhear any conversation on that account. Any conversation? That's that's some invasion of privacy right there. The listener has now been unlocked. New conversations will appear whenever they are started. All right. Cats. The businessman's forgotten daughter. Oh. Or victim of traditionalism in pink. What do you think? Huh? <laughs> a Christmas for my darling. Uh, this was actually meant to be a private piece, but oh well. Uh, well, you just put that on, on the public, so uh, I don't really give a damn. Good. Um quit my dull dull day job so it does not have a different profession at all interesting we should find out what that job was later oh there's something in the listener so let's check it out hey you hey Jossie 
I can't seem to find my credit card. I assume you took it, right? Uh, you got me, Sherlock. I'm in the middle of buying all ba of Boston with that platinum card I lifted from your desk. You can't stop me now. Sure, let's add that one as well. Uh, well, luckily for for you, I don't mind going on a splurge as long as you pick up some wine for dinner. Uh, if we're able to find out, uh, we could look at the uh, look at tooth for the owner. Wine that uh, what does Joseph Langley, my fearless attorney and all-around badass, have in mind this time? Shameless exposition. Uh, probably just business call. One of his favorites. Wait, she stole the credit card of her lawyer. We should be able to track her and lock it down for him. Done. No, really, no need to thank you, Mr. Langley. Oh, I didn't want to lock it actually. Oh shit. Wait, what? Uh, very serious business, I thought as my Big Pharma aka my parents then. More shameless exposition. Watergate Pharma entrepreneurs, why does that ring a bell? Uh yeah, maybe. Gotta go now. Text you later. XOXO. She must be insufferable. So this is like a quote or something? Or a personality trait. <laughs> so you're under the impression that our wonderful Miss Watergate is really living in Wonderland. Somehow I doubt it. Call it intuition. People's lives are hanging in the balance. What if you, you pass me something I cannot identify as wrong so easily? You've got to be more careful next time. Oh, right. So I should have just ignored that. Cool. Um, yeah, we've got more stuff to do. Uh, let's see. Procedures, uh, procedure closing raises manipulation suspicions. Investigation into the militia. Whoa, what the hell? Uh, Orwell informs me you just encountered conflict data chunks. Um, whenever the data of two uh, data chunks are at odds with one another, those will be shown as conflicted. When you extract one of the data chunks containing a conflict, the other become will become invalid immediately. I'd highly recommend you uh, that you clarify the context of the conflict before you proceed. This is your decision. Once the information has been parsed there, uh, it is no way to reverse your choice. Uh, investigating into the malicious injury of a police officer have been dropped. Uh, due to lack of evidence, speculated that the accused parents manipulated the trial. Welcome Joseph Langley. And it's for Cassandra W. Wow. So, was acquitted with the case being closed due to a lack of evidence. That's one. Um, they openly voiced their concerns that the wealthy family of the accused might have influenced the outcome in her favor. So, it's one or the other, it's not both. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, that's very nice UI. Um, I'm gonna hold off on this one, because I'm not sure what might be the exact nature of this. No, oh, that's just a bookmark. Products. Uh, Watergate Pharmaceuticals enriches lives with our industri industry leading range of products, making an important contribution to your well being. Below, you will find a small selection of our most popular products cough drops, uh, pills against migraines, concentration, cerebral performance, alleviate uh, arthrit arthritic joint pain, antidepressant, all round painkiller, and sleep well. Uh, company. Uh, eight years. National leading company. Uh, nation's leading company. Um, 1931. Right. Uh, CEO. So that's Bruno and Dr. Alice. Uh, junior CEO. So this used to be her job. Is this actually the same person? Yeah, that's that's a very very good question. Uh, 
appointed to be COO of a pharmace pharmaceutical company, probably by one of her parents. Being an artist and a junior seems uh, quite odd. She also mentioned she had quit a dull job, didn't she? Yeah. Documents have you have already made repeat. Blah, blah, blah. Documents that you have already reviewed may be updated from time to time as events unfold. The reader will notify you when that happens. Uh, the National Beholder just published a new article. Okay. Uh, that's her parents registered. Keeping it a family affair. Yeah. 85 years of strong. Uh, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> First, wait, hang on a moment. Uh, let's look at jobs for a moment. We are urgently looking for a chief operations officer to replace the retired, formerly appointed predecessor. Or maybe I was wrong and nothing stays in the family. Ouch. <laughs> this is probably what she meant by quit about quitting her job. Good. Uh, let's see, I always scroll to the bottom. Headlines. Crime rate continues to drop. Why? On Thursday the morning, the Ministry of Security published the new crime statistics uh, report for the preceding year. According to the report, the number of recorded criminal offenses has decreased by 4.8% in comparison to last year. The crime rate, uh, rates have been continuously declining over the past several years as a direct result of the, of the implementation of the safety bill. Uh, the party is elected in government. Safety bill has passed. It was already decreasing, so I don't know, maybe that the party began here with their work and then got elected and then passed the safety bill and kept it declining. That's a good one. Let's see, uh, safety-centered laws, simplified sped of process of taking investigative measures against criminal suspects and their prosecution. Uh, since uh, 2011, uh, I'm just skimming through this, distribution of aid packages, rebuild infrastructure, uphold the law, public order, anti-personnel mines, well, yeah. Uh, due to stabilization in the parties, we have been able to reduce the number of stationary station forces while leaving the overall goals of the peacekeeping mission intact. Cool. But I... Oh, this is a complete site. Right. You can donate, you can volunteer, become a member, join the army of the nation. I'm working for these people, I believe. Robert Bling, Prime Minister. Uh, Arthur Scott Cal uh, Gallagher, Catherine Delacroix, uh, Peter Faulkner. Our five pillars for a great nation. We firmly believe in strict safety regulations and mechanisms to preserve the life and well-being of every individual. Uh, sure, whatever. Uh, yeah, this is not that interesting right now. Um. Hmm. The thing is, I think I know how what what to correlate this with. Um. Let's see. Where's the article? Uh. Mm hmm. No, this wasn't it. Headlines. No, uh, it's the assault report, I think. Yeah, she was previously arrested. Uh, where do I pick that one up again? Um, here. Uh, the protesters at the origin of the assault were forcibly removed, where the suspect was found kneeling and weeping on the ground. When asked to lay on the ground with her hands behind her back, the suspect cooperated immediately. So it's more of a shock than anything else. 
Um, it used to be said that, or it was said that it was done with a brick. And this doesn't mention any of it. Not, not at all. Um, and her family is not covering for her that much. Uh, because they are actively looking for uh, another COO. So I don't even think they, they take kindly to her absence. Let's call it that. Um, is there anything else on this portfolio thingy? I mean, I don't know what these menu options are, but I or these sim the symbol is, but I think there's more there. Oh, you can put in a new portrait. Uh, I'll disable that one. Don't really give a damn about it. So now it's gray, yeah. So that was the last thing. Um, I think there was a lack of evidence, basically. This is what I figured. I pity the CCTV did not feed. If he did not actually help. Maybe it will today. Currently, I'm thinking that our Miss Watergate underwent quite a radical change, don't you agree? Let's find out what happened in between uh, these two lives of hers. What may have caused this radical shift? More headlines? No? Uh, it, again, I'm looking... Uh, that's what it is. Oh, wow. Art, music, activism, what a lineup. Oh god, this is a lot. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, March 1st, 2017, uh, April 12th, 2017, so this is March to April, uh, in order, so start at the top, work to the bottom, which is the opposite of what Facebook and such do. Um, Woohoo, first day in freedom, far away from the shackles of Watergate Pharma. Uh, what is gonna pay for your stuff now, mommy and daddy won't like this, listen Jake, I'm not that blah blah blah. Fuck all of you government lackeys. I would like to keep that quote there. Well, well, Miss Watergate, we aren't too fond of you either. Uh, sweetie, what is the matter? Uh, that totally doesn't sound like you. We haven't hung out for ages. You gotta get out from time to time. You'd feel much better. Mary, just shut your fucking mouth. Blah, blah, blah. Mary, my best friend of all times. Oh wow, that's one hell of a conflict. Uh, we already knew that, actually. So, yeah, sure, whatever. Let's see, uh, the Beholder actually wrote about me being freaking redeemed of this bull of the shit, but, but surprise, surprise, they had to mention the speculation of my parents buying me out. Makes, uh, makes the click count go boom, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I think it does. The National Beholder, TNA, investigation, uh, we've already been there. This works amazing, by the way, this is real good, real good, very nice. At least you're redeemed, I wanna blow off some steam together with a late, little late night shopping tour. Not today, I have a date this evening. Oh, who's the lucky one? So... First, this happens. This is January. March 1st. This is a sort of subplot with January 30th. And it's going down to April... April... Yeah, it's in order. So first, this happens. Uh, then this. Um, haven't hung out. That's on the 30th. 
and this is on in August 2016. That's a way way back. But that's where th this is already sort of changing. This is also August 10, 2016. It's not even in order, which is really annoying. So first it's August 22, and on August 10 it's about the uh, clearing her name. So first they had a first the case happened, then they had a relationship, and the date happened August 10, which is the same day as the article, which doesn't mean much because it's it, it would have been past the uh, case itself. She would have posted the article first, then Mary is replying and so on and so on case closed great um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so happy for you yeah I'm not changing that prof profile picture to that um, although I think the thingy will give a very funny answer to it oh he didn't well that's uh, surprising uh, oh my god, what happened to your beautiful hair? Why didn't you ask me before going to a stylist? We could have gone together. Cassie's going punk. Did mom and daddy agree with that? J Jake is a real cynical bastard. Uh, you also need a new name then. And what about Cassarthus? Uh, Cassarthus. Yeah. Cassandra shall be known to the world as Cassarthus. Cassarthus. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, invite you to our little activist group. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? Uh, it would be nice to have you with us for the protest on the Freedom Plaza on Friday. That's interesting. An activist group, is there anything more specific? Uh, so this is an alias, basically. Um... An alias name. Uh, you know people on the web, so many names, so many identities. It's always good to record every alias and we can match the data chunks to the target uh, persons whenever they are using them. The listener is doing something. Ah, a new session. Hey, did you hear about the Freedom Plaza bombing? Um, yeah, don't remind me, you know I have a history with that place. Evasive, obviously. Depends on what she's saying next. Already uh, fucking me up enough. I have enough that I have to catch a bus from there every day. Too many bad memories, and now I was there just moments before this happened. Uh, I should never gone to the damn protest, darling. You don't need to justify to anybody, especially not me. So sh she's there every day. That's sexually lowering suspicion. Meaning her presence be there before the bombing. Could be a coincidence after all. I will reserve my thoughts until you find more evidence. I was so happy when Goldfels accepted me into the thought. Goldfels, that's the name. Cool. Call the thought. Um, maybe this is what influenced her and who is Goldfels. Sure. We should uh, find something that shows her current attitude if we are following the right person. You're not a terrorist, okay? Ain't I? You sure? Uh, oh, damn it. Your car's not working. Can't buy anything. Have you gone bankrupt or something? <laughs> oh, well, see, this is what I should be doing. Uh, more about the bloody wine. Uh, let's see. Joseph Langley. Now I'm getting interested. Uh, let's see. Kassan, uh jobs, crime rate continues to drop. Headlines. Uh, well, no, it's the other article thingy. I'm targeting him. Why can't I select him? That's a bit of a shame, actually. I want to make more profiles. It would be amazing. Oh. On medication. Oh, that's interesting. A 
Mazarin. Let's see. Should be something on her. Yeah, there we go. Products. Mazarin. Blue. Antidepressant. So she's depressed. It's not like a depressed person to go bombing things, right? Uh, I wonder if her adverse attitude towards the assault is actually worth anything then. Perhaps emotions were high if she's reliant on this medication. Looking at what you've extracted so far, we're dealing with a potentially dangerous personality. I will indicate that to law enforcement. Um, I actually want to look at the timeline a bit more first, so... <laughs> yeah, it, it's weird, so... But you really should consider paying a visit to your hairstylist soon, darling. Well, that is what happens when you do my hair. <laughs> Weird. Um, let's see. Why does this keep popping up? It's weird. It's like as there's something still there which I need to find. Ah, uh, never mind. Well, the highlight is gone, so apparently clicking all the things works. The thought. Uh, welcome to the thoughts. We have an overview. Freedom is unfree. Let's start here. Uh, are the thoughts still free? This article is private. All of them are. Freedom is unfree. Well, look who we found here. Akasarthis. Uh, uh, this I have no idea. Uh, cams everywhere, even uh, it's immediate. Blah, 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 blah. We were there because one of the peaceful protests we have always been against violence. Alright. So. It's weird because she was. She was there with another group which did do some damage. Articles 1. Cassie. Last login, April 2017. Hmm. Uh, that blue-haired punk bitch, stupid cunt, anti-governmental terrorist. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It took weeks of investigative custody to figure out that the cam footage was actually not clearly showing anything at all, which raises the question, why are there so many cams in the first place? Abraham predicted pretty much of this for all of the web. Goldfells. We've got Goldfells here. Can I add an article for Goldfells? Damn it. What the hell? can't start a profile for these guys, which is a shame, because I really, really want to. I know it's bullshit, but I want to. Still, we found gold files, so... Um, dear reader, the thoughts are free. Um, guests. Um... Yeah, it doesn't really do much for me. Oh, hey, something in our timeline. Something new. Wow. Wow. This is so, so difficult. We were there because we wanted a peaceful protest, which conflicts with finally someone at the grid to do it. Um, let's take a look. Are you taking your methylene? Yes, damn it, is that the only thing to you that uh, I am on? 
about five minutes ago. Going home now, in case I'm getting up on that priority list of yours anytime soon. So she's on her medication right now. She's on it. And that's her opinion right now. So... I think I'm gonna take this one over the other one. I suspected that as much, it seems we're looking at the right person. It's either her or someone near her. Alright, we found uh, all, what we found so far is all good and interesting, but I think we should be searching for something a little more concrete. We have to dig deeper. A new chat. Juliet! Hi Cassie. Hey Jules. Cassie, I just wanted to know your post on timelines about this assault. You shouldn't really write something like that. Really, Jules, you're gonna preach me about this stupid post, are you? No. I just want to see. No, what's wrong, Cass? It's nothing. It's nothing. It's because of what happened, isn't it? Ooh, now it's getting interesting. Yeah, and lots and lots of other shit today. The bombing stirred all up all of this crap again. You know what I did. What happened there wasn't your fault. Oh wow, now oh, we're getting somewhere. Both are typing, which is so interesting. Yeah, you heard that officer to save me. How can it not have been my fault, Juliet? I smashed the freaking skull of a father of two children because I lost it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I feel like an asshole. The music is amazing, by the way. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, session is closed. You heard that officer to save me? Was protected from a police officer by Cassandra Watergate. Juliet, I smashed in. Admitted guilt, admitted guilt towards Juliet Carrington for having injured a police officer in rage. I think this is the one, basically. I don't know, it's... Ah, oh, damn it. Um, shit. I mean, so Juliet got attacked. That's what happened. I don't blame any of that. that that's, that's fact. I won't question that. The question is whether or not Cassandra was in a rage or actually trying to protect her friend. I mean, you, you've see, you see this in several videos online. There's a protest and someone does something and it triggers the crowd. And with Cassandra, it's... I don't know. Uh, it's, damn, this is difficult. God damn it. Um, shit. She's depressed. Um, whoops. I'm not all that up to date on what the depressed people do, so... Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Um, I've got to look this up real quick. I seriously have to. Let's see. Uh, symptoms of depression oh this is one way to mess up my google's image uh, or search results <laughs> uh let's see hopeless and helpless a losing interest tired sleep and appetite change can't concentrate uh, you can't control negative thoughts you're much more irritable short-tempered or aggressive than usual Oh, so to be honest, I think she's off her meds.
On the other hand, there is regret. I smashed the freaking skull of a father of two children because I lost it. She lost it because she was probably off her meds. But she is showing remorse because you, you, um, if you want to just, she, she's not trying to justify it. She is naming what she's done. She bashed in the skull of a father of two children. She's giving the victim here an identity. And uh, if she were to be saying, I, I, I smashed the freaking skull of that man, that man is, is more distant thing than saying a father of two children. So she's showing regret, but I don't know if she's to blame for, for doing something in a rage or hate me or, or love me, but I think she did it in a rage. I think she was off her meds. She did do it. Very good work, the intervention team is already on its way. We will we'll need to wait for confirmation. Next up, Wonderland, right? Just kidding, next time be careful uh, with providing the wrong data, okay? In Ms. Watergate's case, it was not a problem to get her address with the help of local police due to her former record. Huh. Oh. A new chat. Oh, dear God. Well, you cannot take it down now, can you? It says I should, I not I have. How is your boyfriend? Are you still together? You haven't been talking about him much lately. Well, not as much as before. Hello? So they're still talking, but she... Oh, that's Mary, never mind. It's one minute ago, come on! Although we have no proof she's involved in the bombing, we might be able to question her later. With that admission of guilt, she will probably serve some time. Uh, very good work. Whoa! Whew. Dude, let me read! Ah, uh, come on. A two dead, similar approach, same letters found, so these assaults are connected. And as if that wasn't enough already, Miss Watergate was in custody at the time. All right. You did good today. I have a feeling the next few days are going to be trying at best. It wants me to exit, but I don't want to. Explosive charge set off at the Stelligan University in Bonton. At least two people dead, three injured. Once again, a letter has been received. Half an hour ago, two people killed with three injured. We will inform you about any developments. Die Gedanken sind frei. The thoughts are free. I am still a bit curious about things, so... Thoughts are free. I'm suspecting gold fells a bit. Uh. Are you finished? Uh, are you are you sure you want to finish your work for today? All unprocessed data chunks will expire. Yes, I think so. Based on the data you submitted, you, we have learned the following: a severe assault. Activist uh, group thought a second assault. An artist close to you to a lack of evidence. Joseph Langley. Radical change as she joined the activist uh, group thought. Collected data. Dangerous personality. Uh, seems. Yeah, seems to be the case. Oh. Episode 2. A place where there is no darkness. Available on October 27, 2016. I'm looking forward to it. This is interesting. I can see myself buying this game. Uh, it's really interesting. 
um, it's kind of a detective, but you are the, de the detective in the modern age, not like Sherlock Holmes, which is cool. Um, so available October 27th, it's uh, 8 euros 49, right now it's, on, it's got a discount of, 30, of uh, 15%, full price will be 10 euros. So that's pretty cheap actually, I think. I mean, I don't know how many episodes there will be, but I think that the f I, I don't think it's episodical really, it's just an episodical release, so I think the game is just buy it and play it. But I'm really looking forward to see how deep the rabbit hole goes. I also really like the soundtrack, so that's also pretty awesome. Uh, if I recall correctly, this game was made by like three people. Uh, I'd have to double check, but it's pretty amazing. Uh, if you're interested, this is a demo, it's free, you can just download it uh, on Steam or on uh, IndieDB. Uh, so if you don't want DRM, you can also do that. Um, I'd recommend it. Uh, I'll be playing the full game, full walkthrough, uh, playthrough, I mean, uh, see where it takes us. That's me, uh, that's me done for, uh, for now. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll also enjoy my future work, so if you liked it, uh, stay tuned for the next one, when it comes out, October 27th, 28th, I'll be playing that real good. Bye bye!